Hello, I'm Michael. I'm the team leader of Exothermic 10D, and today I'm going to be explaining some of the mechanics of a basic six bar for some of the new teams out there, and as well as some of the more experienced teams like myself. Uh, we'll start off with how to get the right symmetry for your six bar. So as you see here, when this six bar is lifted up, we have perfect symmetry from there to there. It is halfway point to here and then it's another halfway point to there so you get a very even six bar it lifts very well and you get the max height that you want and it just stays very symmetrical and works a whole lot better if you have it this way so the way that we found uh, to get the symmetry really well is you start out from the edge of your gear right here and you go from that hole and you start here and you count in and then you find the center point for that mounting position. Then you cut another bar going again from the edge of the gear out to that same position. That gives you a halfway point. That halfway point is very critical because it makes it so the six bar again just stays very symmetrical from this bottom part to the top part and it stays even all the way up. Once you've done that you mount the position right here and you get another bar that's again that length to go from here and that's just one of the basic things that you want for a six bar is to be symmetrical from here to here. For the gear ratio of a six bar this year, uh, some teams are using a one to seven. However, we do like to use a one to five, and we use four regular motors for that, not high strength. And it seems to work really well. It's been very reliable for us for all three years that I've done robotics. So I'd highly recommend a 1 to 5, but if you are having torque issues, you can use a 1 to 7, which is also reliable, but the lift just goes a little bit slower. So how we have it mounted is so that there's a little bit of space in here, and that width between here is adjustable, so it's depending on how, you, how high you want your 6 bar to lift. The more space that's in between there, the higher it can lift. So ours can lift a grand total of like 36 inches to the bottom of there when it's fully extended, which is higher than a 30 inch goal. So we wanted it to lift a little bit higher, and you may too, but it's again fully adjustable depending on how you want to build it. The way that this is designed is you notice that there's only one support down here, and that is designed to allow a lower ramp intake which makes pulling game objects in for whatever intake cell you're using a whole lot easier. But again, that's adjustable. You can add more supports like here on the top there or on the bottom there and that just raises your intake level for when you're fully down. Because once you extend upwards, your since your intake's going like that, it doesn't matter anymore. But it does when it's completely down and all folded up. Um, one of the things that you may want to consider using on a 6 bar is to use rubber bands and those are just very essential and very um, exchangeable and adjustable for however you're using it. You can tension them in different I ways. I hope that this uh, video was very helpful and I wish you the best of luck in your future competitions. Thank you.